Welcome back to WandaVision. I know it's been a while. Um, again, I, pff, life's getting in the way. Um, turns out we aren't going back to full time, but I still have to work crazy schedule this week. So I'm working day shift for two days, grave shift for the next two days. So I'm trying to get sleep schedule in while also doing things. Um, so this is after episode four has aired. Um, I've gotten little glimpses of spoilers, but I don't think anything major yet. So I'm trying to watch it as quickly as I can, um, both episodes. Um, I remember last time there was like the beekeeper, sword's still a big thing. Um, I'm like 90% sure that's Monica Rambo. So I'm very excited about the possibilities of what that means, especially because her power base is, it makes sense with like electromagnetic currents and television, but it doesn't really compad, I mean, she was in Strike Force, the recent Strike Force run, and I think she had to do something. No, that was all just electromagnetic current. Never mind. There was like ghosts in there, wasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna say maybe it's like sort of connected to supernatural stuff like Wanda is, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, and then at the end of the episode, obviously, when the color, which is why this is episode three called Now in Color. Um, so very interested to see. Where you go from here? I'm gonna stop talking and just get this episode finally. Yeah, no shit. Wake up! Oh! Yes, I know what you mean. The truth is, we are in uncharted waters. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that I don't know. I can't say for certain. Okay. The the thoughts are either Wanda is creating this place of her own volition, you know, as like a coping mechanism and Sword is helping her out. But then the way that she's acting towards S.W.O.R.D. and all the outside interference makes it seem like she doesn't know or doesn't want them to interfere. So then that makes me think, well, maybe S.W.O.R.D. is doing this, you know, they're monitoring her condition outside of her desires, too. Um, I just don't see it as S.W.O.R.D. is the bad guy, because I know who S.W.O.R.D. is. You know, I know I know what S.W.O.R.D. Sword is about, and so it's a weird framing device for me if they are... An evil organization because I know they're not so I'm just like waiting for trying to figure out where where, where the discrepancy lies where it's you know maybe she but if she was trapped then surely there'd be like a rescue team you know so I don't know I, I feel like it's some sort of uh, almost like a quarantine zone of like where she can use her powers to make this you know, maybe it's like a situation where she went catastrophic and S.W.O.R.D. set up a barrier around her to protect everyone else. And then now they're trying to extract her maybe or something. Um, that's probably the best thing I can think of. Um, again, I love the glitchiness. I think this episode is really the most outlandish yet. Um, you know, using their powers and overt sight. Um, and even like the the weird stuff when like weird things were starting to happen the music wasn't like fully hitting like at the end there when vision was talking with the neighbors and wanda was talking with monica it was very much like still like upbeat and jazzy you know it felt very sitcommy still even though the, the conversations were very much shit's going down <laughs> so um i feel like there's like a glitch in the matrix now like there, there there's something fully uh, interfering now um we got the twins i only know their code names wicked and speed i don't know which one's which to be honest um but talking about them really quick speed is obviously a speedster taking after quicksilver um i'm curious if did vision always have super speed because i feel like i never saw that in the movies so i don't know if that's a new power um because my thing is if that's a new thing for this episode, is it like a, a leftover sort of, you know, Wanda, again, thinking about her brother, giving Vision speed all of a sudden? 
because he needs to be fast enough to do things for her. I don't know. Um, but I know Wiccan is very powerful. He's got like reality altering powers, sort of like she does. Um, but I think he's actually possibly stronger than her. I think I think it's like wish powers, isn't it? Um, he was also in Strike Force. Him and Monica were in Strike Force. So I think that's really interesting, um, especially with you know how fast are they going to age these children? The pregnancy was like an episode. So are they going to age up the kids really fast? Are they going to be babies for the rest of the season? What's going to happen there? You know, are they going to make them young Avengers eventually? Because we have Kate Bishop and America Chavez and you know Kamala Khan, um, all these other young Avengers coming up. So. Are they going to age up Wiccan and Speed also to add them to the team? You know, how's that going to work out? Um, but anyways, I know his powers are very much wish-based. So, um, given what happened this episode with, you know, mentioning Quicksilver too. And again, I've, I've mentioned in one of the other episodes about how she's been through so many traumatic things in her life that I wouldn't be surprised if this was her way of making things right and giving a child wish-based powers. I mean... It's just interesting to think about. So I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to stop talking so I can get into the next episode. Um, thanks for watching. Leave thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, bye.